question I think after watching today's move lower is, is it time to buy the dip or is this a reversal? So that goes back to you can break a trend with a single candle, but you cannot make a trend with a single candle. So I think what gets very interesting for us now is don't just look at this particular candle. Look at all the preceding red candles that we had in terms of what's mostly been a double green uptrend. So what's a double green uptrend? It's the structure of the 8, 13, 21, and 34 EMAs. And uh, when those are structured a certain way, and that certain way is 8 over 13, 13 over 34, uh, sorry, 13 over 21, 21 over 34, those two rows of colors down here go, well, as I call them, double green. So hopefully that description is, well, descriptive, right? I'm looking for that double green environment. So I do not look at this down candle in any different a way than I did this or frankly this. And, you know, the kind of the, the bigger question is, is this a turnaround Tuesday, right? If we are going to see a rally from today, from Monday's sell-off, which I still call a retracement, then there's some key levels and patterns that I will be looking for. So what are the potential uh, scenarios? Well, first of all, if a single candle, in this case, the S&P, how many number of points did we move today? Well, I'll show you what how that's um, measurable and why that is so important. So I'm gonna go on over to the auto chartist data and I'm gonna take a look at the daily price movement range for the S&P. The daily price movement range, what I call the DPMR, it's 55 for the S&P. Today's range was 96. So when people say, wow, that's a big candle, most of the time it's really just a very subjective view based upon the number of candles and the perspective that they have on their chart. We're gonna do that through the measuring stick of historical volatility. Was today a big candle? Yes. Who says so? Historical volatility. So this was a big candle. That means that it would be prudent to wait for a minor low or an inside day. A minor low or an inside day. I love the action around the 55, but if this is now the if this is going to be potentially the third time we bounce isn't it interesting how we do break the 55 by a little bit? 55 by a little bit. Am I going to be surprised to see a slightly lower low tomorrow? No, but it's going to be really important to see that slightly lower low to sort of fulfill the pattern that the previous retracement and subsequent bounces have gone through. Not that we have to, but it would, it would make it a more predictable move. So I'd love to see a minor low. That means that unless tomorrow just rips higher, in which case if tomorrow rips higher, I will either be in a small number of call options in the SPY or even the ES futures, or I'm just gonna be day trading it to the long side. I'll be with you all in the futures room at 920 to 1130, and we'll day trade the morning together. But that would be an intraday two or five minute scenario. Those of you that just took my playbook class, you're going to see what we're going to do tomorrow in line with what I taught you all. But what about those of you that want to put on a swing trade? And I want to do that too, by the way. Then I actually should wait for a minor lower inside day. And that makes really uh, Wednesday the day for the buy. All right. So turnaround Tuesday will be great, I believe, for day traders if that were to occur but the daily time frame buy is more likely to organize. Uh, it, we need tomorrow to be, a, again, slightly lower, lower inside day, and that will be something we can look for on Wednesday. So that those are key patterns that I'm looking for. Um, that's the way the S&P has uh, formed. And then in the premium video, we'll get into... Uh, the NASDAQ a little bit more because the NAS is a little different. It's at a different point on the chart. Um, of course, the NASDAQ is going to be a big part of why the S&P 
uh, could move. But then we're going to have to get into which sectors are key. You know, so we'll do that in the premium video. But that's that's the initial that's the initial plan for the indices. Hey traders, Ragi from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.